Minorities in Shark Sciences promotes diversity and inclusion in shark sciences and other elasmobranch research. In this video, we will learn what separates elasmobranchii from other fish. Before we discuss what an elasmobranch is, you need to know about science's special system of classification for living things. So let's imagine we have a set of toys with different sizes and colors. And say we took all the tiles without letters and put them in one group. We could say that the creatures in this group are all fish. They all have the same shape, but they're not all the same. So we want to organize them even more. We decide to put all the purple pieces together. We could say this group is our chondrichthys or cartilaginous fish. And if we then separate these Legos one more time, based on the light purple and dark purple groups, we could then say that the light purple are our elasmobranchii. Chondrichthys is a group, all our purple pieces, of fish whose bodies are made up of cartilage instead of bones. Cartilage is the kind of tissue you have on the tip of your nose and your ears. Your skull and your head is an example of bones. About 90% of fish have bones. They're called bony fish or osteichthys. Now, let's look at our light purple pieces, the elasmobranchii. We know already these fish are made of cartilage instead of bones because they're a type of chondrichthys. Sharks, rays, skates, and sawfish are all examples of elasmobranchii. In all, there are more than 1,000 different kinds of elasmobranchii. If elasmobranchii have scales, they're very small like tiny teeth in their skin. They're called dermal denticles. They're arranged so they point toward the tail of the elasmobranch. They have two functions. First, they help the elasmobranch move through the water. Second, they provide some amount of protection from other creatures. Many elasmobranchii also have a special sensory system for learning about their environment. This system is made up of ampullar organs located within the lateral line system along the head, snout, and around the jaws. These organs are called the ampullae of Lorenzini. They can detect electrical impulses. Through these electrical impulses, elasmobranchii can find prey, navigate, and determine temperature. Elasmobranchii also have similar systems for breathing. Many of them have something called spiracles, which are small openings behind the eye that help with breathing. They also have five to seven gill openings on each side of their head. Sharks have their gills in a row behind their head, but rays have their gills on the bottom of their bodies, specifically under their pectoral fins. And elasmobranchii have some things in common in their mouths too. First, their upper jaw is not connected to the rest of their skull. Second, they have several rows of teeth in their mouths. They lose and grow teeth all throughout their lives. In fact, sharks can lose 30,000 teeth in their lifetime. The last thing they have in common is the way they make themselves float in water. Elasmobranchii have large livers full of oil that make it possible for them to swim through the water without just sinking to the bottom. Today, we learned what makes an elasmobranch different from other fish. Here are some of the resources used for this video. Keep up with minorities in shark sciences if you want to learn more about shark and elasmobranch science.